Welcome to this Windows channel and uh, this is a little April 2018 video where we're going to, of course, um, one of many videos coming up where we're going to take a look at some of the features that are or have been changed or made better or maybe sometimes worse in uh, the April uh, 2018 update. In this case, we'll take a look at the new and re kind of revamped Windows Defender Security Center. Uh, particularly one side of this that's called the um, device performance and health which has now kind of a changed look so uh, this looks at four things storage capacity if you have enough space on your hard drive for example uh, device driver if there's issues with some of the device drivers of your different devices used on your PC battery life things that can actually affect battery life and apps and software issues. So uh, these are things that can show up and basically they all show up depending on what's happening. Um, from a change that, you know, when we started having this panel, a lot of the biggest problems were that when sometimes there are things you don't want to have the info. So for example, battery life issues, you know, when I would unplug the power supply, it would always tell me, yeah, well, you know, you're keeping your, you know, um, your uh, light on the, the screen, you know, uh, maximum. So this is, well, going to impact, you know, battery and all of that. These are things that I know of, and I don't want to be um, actually annoyed. So um, pretty much any of these settings, storage, device driver, battery life, and apps and software, will and should technically have their own on-off switch so that it doesn't actually annoy you with this. So basically, if you've got an issue, of course, you can uh, click the little arrow that will actually give you more details. Um, and you should have something that uh, you can actually use to stop that from appearing. So uh, storage capacity will warn you when you are below a certain level on hard drive space. Uh, device drivers will tell you when something is wrong. It could be an outdated driver, although it doesn't mean because your driver is like, you know, five years old that is necessarily outdated. It might still be a very good driver. Uh, but, you know, if there's something wrong with a device, it'll, it'll show up here. Uh, battery life issues, of course, is things that you are doing on your PC when you're unplugged on a laptop. Of course, this will not uh, show up or give you any messages if you're on a desktop because it doesn't have batteries. This is really for tablets and laptops. And, you know, we'll give you some uh, kind of hints of things you can do to maybe increase battery life. It could be useful, you know, in the case where your battery life isn't very good. You're wondering, you know, how you can increase battery life when you're on the go. So um, that could be interesting. But, you know, there are cases like mine where you don't want to have these warnings. So of course, they can be turned off. In apps and software, well, if an app or a software you have has some kind of issue, some kind of problem, it will show up here. Um, I've never had any, you know, um, problems with that section, so I'm not really sure exactly to what point it will show up problems with apps or software that's installed. But um, and it, you know, it's kind of interesting to to have it there. Um, you know, maybe someday I'll have some kind of message to say, oh, look at that. It can tell you when this or that is no good. So anyways, um, this is the health report of your PC. You know, um, I'm not fond of these health reports in general because they often just give you a lot of details. And, you know, they, they actually scare people off a little bit also because since it's part of the Windows Defender security, Remember that having a little, you know, you see that there's a little green check mark on the bottom right on my uh, Defender. Uh, you know, some people will see a yellow check mark or a red check mark and start thinking, oh, my antivirus is not working. But in reality, it's fine. It's just that one of these uh, devices might have some kind of performance issue or, you know, your storage capacity, which, you know, means that it's just a very basic problem. But for a lot of people, it might be a scary thing thinking that the antivirus is not working. So make sure that you look at what's happening when that happens. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.